happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I just shot a little a little buck. It looked like a little spike or something. Couldn't quite tell what he was. I, I seen he had a little set of horns on his head, but uh I'm sitting out here, it's Thanksgiving evening, and uh it's been a very, very, very slow hunting season this year. I got something coming up behind me. Oh my, that was a big buck. Okay, folks, let's try this again. <laughs> Live action. <laughs> That's some good stuff right there. So anyways, happy Thanksgiving to me. Oh Lord, that's what it's all about right there. Um, so, as I was saying, I guess there was more with that spike I got. But it was a, a beagle, somebody's beagle loose. Got to barking, was chasing some deer around, and a uh, spike come running up to me. And uh, he was limping, and uh, I decided to take him, because he, he looked hurt. So, that's, to me, the right thing to do, put him out of his misery, don't want him to suffer. And, um. Uh, you know, thanks. It's Thanksgiving. That's what it's all about. Is eating. That's why we're here. And uh, well, as y'all might be able to see in the video earlier, I was trying to explain to y'all what was going on, and I heard something coming up on me. And uh, well, it was this buck. I don't know exactly what he is, but he looked like he had a noticeable set of horns on his head come right up here on me 20 25 yards and I busted him and he I mean, he's just right down here below me so thank y'all so much for watching this has been a very long and interesting hunting season that is the only two bucks I have actually seen actually sitting hunting this year it has been extremely slow so I'm gonna get my noodles together and uh my dad and my mom's gonna be on the way. They down on the lower side of the property, and uh, we go go round these deer up, and uh, all that fun stuff. So, thank y'all for watching. Very much appreciate y'all support. And uh, if y'all haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, hit that notification button so you know next time I post something. So, all right, so. Let's go take a look at these things. We got something here. He's a seven pointer, a goofy looking seven pointer. <laughs> thick, thick horn sucker. He's a good looking seven pointer. So that's pretty cool. It is. That's an awesome deer. Come running up on me right after I got shot that spike. So, whoo, eventful evening. So, yeah. we can take a look at him for a minute, and uh, we'll go go down here and see if we can find that spike too. <laughs> two, two in one day. 
You allowed two? I've never done that before. Yeah, that's awesome. On this side. Oh, my whole life I've hunted in the mountains up in Botetourt County. On that side of the mountain, you, you can only shoot one a day. Down here, you you allow two a day. So <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah, I've never right. done this before. So that's a cool looking rack. That's awesome. Well, been a long season so far. Yes, very long, very long. He's kind of a big body deer. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that's a very good way to end Thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. This is awesome. Amen. All right, well, I reckon we better get to tracking the other one. He sounded like he went down the other ditch, so <laughs> we'll meet up here in a little bit. Alrighty. Well, folks, yeah, let me have a seat. I uh, found my other buck, got a shot first. Didn't get him on camera, uh, but, uh, all worked out good. He uh, made it through the night. No coyotes got him, so it stayed good and cold. So he should be fine. He's a three point, and he was. I noticed he was limping real bad, and uh, that's why I, sh I, I shot him. And uh, I noticed he got. <laughs> if you look at him, he's got one leg is shorter than the other. One. Ain't that something? So. Maybe it's good to take him out to herd then. Get some of that bad gene out of here. He's got, I know he's got a lot of white in him. Almost like a pie bowl or something. Not quite, but uh, I always heard when you know when you start seeing that a little more, they, they have that bad gene in them. So and it shows right there in his leg. So you don't want that for your deer herd. So perfect one to take out, and uh, we'll make some snack sticks out of him. And. Uh, all worked out pretty good so all right good morning folks today's january the 4th 2019 happy new year buddy and uh out here hunting got a little bit of rain we got tomorrow's the last day of season here in virginia so uh i figured i'd come out here and see if i could at least give me one more deer and uh lo and behold i did uh i had to Yet again, didn't get it on 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 camera, but um, I was walking up this little ridge here, and uh, there was a whole herd, about five of them, coming down the ridge behind me, and I just, you know, stayed real still and kind of eased around real slow, and uh, kind of almost like a spot and stalk style hunt. It was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll show y'all where they came from it come from right up there it's coming down the ridge and they actually laid some of them were actually starting to lay down right up behind this little pine tree right here up the hill about 25 yards they didn't even know I was here so I just stood here and waited one one of them looked like a pretty one of them looked like a pretty decent yeah let's fix that one of them looked like a pretty decent, heavy looking doe. And uh, she was the last one coming in and she was still standing up. So I uh, I got her and uh, I heard her fall down on the other side of the ridge. I peeked over, I see her laying down. So let's go take a look. All right. Oh yeah. Beautiful old nanny goat doe. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Made a pretty good shot on her. And, uh, yeah, this was gonna make some summer sausage or some deer bologna. I ain't, I ain't sure yet, but it's gonna turn into something like that. It's gonna be some good eating. I can't wait. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm very thankful. It's actually, as I said previously, it's been a tough season. Um, uh, I think I've seen more deer in the past month, month or so in the last half of the season than I did all season. Um, usually, usually it's the other way around kind of weird but um but yeah like I was saying earlier I was walking in and I, I could hear them it's been kind of a little rainy this morning but not too too rainy and the leaves are you know fairly soft from being wet but they're kind of not completely wet so they still have a little bit of crunch to them so you kind of 
you can hear that and it's got a little more crunch in it than a, a, a totally saturated leaf and uh, i could hear them coming coming down the ridge and uh lo and behold it's coming right to me and uh <clears throat> three of them bedded down about 25 yards ahead of me and then there was this one and another one behind it that was still walking down and she gave me a pretty good shot and i, I nailed her so we uh winding down 2018 2019 hunting season here in virginia and uh yeah tomorrow's tomorrow's the last day today's friday uh january the 4th so um at least i was able to get at least one more you never know what tomorrow may bring but uh uh it's been an interesting one that's for sure it uh been hard you know we went forever without even even seeing a deer now we had some pictures at night time that's about it i think uh we didn't have a very good acorn crop this year and uh, the surrounding farms around us i guess had better better food for the deer and the deer just traveled through here at night time so oh, maybe this summer i'll put in some extra work do some extra food plots and stuff for next year maybe next year will be even better than this year i mean, very thankful for what i was able to get this year and uh thank y'all very much for watching so y'all take care thank you very much oh yeah by the way hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up if you haven't already and uh stay tuned for next time thank y'all for watching craft outdoors <laughs>